Hey, what's up? You alright? What's wrong? You okay? Guys, hold on. What does this say here? This is the most cringe shit I've ever seen in my entire tech career. Whoa, that's a pretty high bar. Let's check it out. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. You can redesign your work, Kimba got that glow up. Boom. We redesign everything from the flow up. Boom. Customize your workspace <laughs> and make it your own. Okay. Ooh, now you make it magic when you up in the zone. Dead. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my god. Praise God. What happened here? What the hell happened here? <laughs> what in the hell happened here? The routine took place last week on the stage at Canva Create. What is Canva? With Canva, you can design anything. Okay. There are thousands of professional templates to get you started. They make me sick. <laughs> you can explore templates in a few ways. Okay, so this is Canva. This is what they were rapping about. Why were they rap- Why were they rapping about this? Why were they- Sniffing. About this. So make it your own. Ooh, now you make it magic when you open the zone. Stop, <laughs> up, sir? Yes, I'm talking to all of you up there. Did you invite- Just, You guys know what's happening? All right. <laughs> but what about me? Who is you? A CIO from an enterprise seat and- Okay, what are other people saying about this? What does this say? Call 911, I'm having a cringe overdose. Having a cringe over to- Hey, shut up, man! This really is one of those things where I would read a whole book, like a thousand page book on how this happened. I typed in, how, how did this happen? Space Canva rap. Space Reddit. There's a conference for a web-based app that puts the uh, graphic designers out of work. <laughs> Now's my chance to do Hamilton. Now's my chance to do Hamilton, it's gonna sound like this. Here's a clip from Hamilton. Okay, but if you actually watch this, it's not just Hamilton that's the inspiration. It's like 90s kids shows. You know, 90s kids shows where they tell you the importance of washing your hands. Mixed with this here. Just remember. Okay, so some lady came up pretending to be a CEO and she was rapping. Okay, what the hell does this say right here? MC Awkward. Hey, come on, man. MC Awkward up the stakes by admirably rapping about the automated licensing and compliancy system integration tailored APIs. Okay, but this is the funny thing about that. Well, what's this guy say? Real talk. So this is on Twitter underneath that video. Real talk. That's my buddy Roger. Oh, wow. And he's absolutely fire. Is startup rap as a vibe always going to be cringy? Sure. But as a human being, nobody's better than Roger. He's a gem. That is really funny, though. Oh, that's my friend Roger. Yeah, he's like, I don't know, he's a rapper or something. He got this job. I do really wonder how that feels, though. The whole world is like, this video made me sick. This vi vi video made me want to die. This video made me want to leave my family. Just drive away from my family. This is so bad, I don't want to be a human anymore more. I want to leave my body. You know, people are saying all this stuff, and then it's your picture. <laughs> it's your picture all over the internet. Like, this video made me want to dig my own grave and then go lay down in it. And then it's you just mid-rap, you know? But it's not this guy's fault. Or these people who just wanted to be dancers and had to do this because it's a multi-billion dollar company. It's Canva's fault, though, son of a bitch. Leave, the, leave these dancers and singers alone. There's one thing I could say about Canva for doing this. They make me sick. Exactly. Bad news if you're a Spotify car thing owner because Spotify announced that by the end of the year they're going to be permanently breaking all the devices and making them so they no longer function. Uh, this is, what is it? Spotify. Spotify, they're a musical company. But they made this thing, this is a $90 thing, called the car thing. It helps you go like this. I really can't figure out what the hell the point of this thing is. You know how you use Spotify? From what I understand, Spotify is like you push a button on your phone, it goes whoop. It goes bloop, 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 it comes up. So that's how Spotify works. This car thing, it just like adds another screen. Like, you already have a screen on your phone to play these stupid songs. This just adds another screen, is from what I understand. And it's 90 bucks. <laughs> okay. Spotify, Spotify recently announced that it would be unilaterally bricking every car thing product. This is one of the biggest tech companies in the world, Spotify. 
So I guess they can just kind of do whatever they want, you know? I don't know. They made a product that doesn't really make sense, charged $100 for it. I almost kind of respect Spotify now. This should have been the ad that Spotify did. Hey, give us that $100 or you get this. So they make this a uh, product that doesn't really make any sense, and then they're like, we're gonna make them all stop working. It's almost like they were embarrassed of them or something. Then the people who bought this thing, they were like, what do I do with this? What do I do with this now? They're gonna make it stop working, so then what do I do with it? This is what Spotify says. Spotify has no further guidance for device owners beyond asking them to reset the device to factory settings and safely get rid of the bricked gadget by, quote, following local electro <laughs> following local electronic waste guidelines. Hey, Spotify, what do I do with this thing that you made not work anymore that I paid $89 for? Okay, so do you have a trash can in your kitchen? Yes, I do, Spotify. Okay, so walk over there. Okay, I'm, I'm there. I put it in the trash. Spotify, are you there? I oh, hung up. Now, Timu literally sells anything you can think of, okay. including designer fragrances, knockoffs to be exact. But the real question is, do these fake fragrances smell anything like the real one? They but make have me no sick. fear, your boy is here. He's here. Hmm. Sniffing. It kind of smells like lemon household cleaner and funk. Praise God. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh, amazing. What is this thing called? Timu. Timu. I've been getting those ads for Timu for what, three, four, two years? I've never actually looked at Timu. So let's praise God and look, take a look. Okay, here's the stuff I'm buying on Timu. This shirt that says, My blood type is Dr. Pepper. Okay, this right here for sure. Human dog bed. Human dog bed, 100 bucks. Okay, add that to the. How do I add the. Co oh, hell yeah. Definitely that. Ooh, hell yeah. I need that because my ears are always going like this. Oh, shit. This is only $5.48? Chicken hat. Oh, fancy chicken hat. Ooh. Ooh, that's like an elitist chicken. Think you're better than me? That's pretty elegant right there. Sorry. Okay, what does this thing right here say? In less than a year... Timu was downloaded by 250 million users worldwide. Whoa. Wow. Disgusting. Over half of them in the U.S. Today, Timu is the second... W wait, no, that can't be right. Come on. Timu is the second most popular shopping app in the U.S., second only to Amazon. Wow. And those products on Timu? They make me sick. Go ahead, sorry. It took discount retail app Temu a year to get to 51 million monthly active users in the U.S. That's approaching the 67 million user base that Amazon spent decades building. Ah! Temu gained ground by... Yeah, I never really paid attention to this Timu, you know, because I was like, ooh, those 99 cent nose rings do look really cool. But that app looks like if I download it on my phone, my phone will stop working. But uh, it's kind of more interesting. This Timu company, what they're really trying to do is... Got your ass! Woo! They're trying to get, like, every person on this app. Amazon kind of did this, but this Timu company is doing it way crazier. I mean, they're really going for it, and... They make me sick. And so how they're doing this is they're selling these products for basically nothing. And it's cheap because it comes right out of the Chinese factories. And, of course, the people who work in these factories don't make any money. But even with all that, you know, but the company that owns this goddamn Timu... They make me sick. They're okay with losing money. They just want everyone, every person on this app. Okay, so that's basically Timu. Then they'll start doing this. Okay, so that's basically Timu. Is it some kind of a scam? Is it going to melt your phone's screen off? Maybe. Actually, maybe still. Selling crap. I do believe that. It's weird. But uh, I was looking around watching videos of these factories and I found, and I found my dream job. So apparently there's part of the manufacturing part of China that they produce like all the world's vapes. And uh, oh good God. And wow, what the fuck? There's some real mayhem going on at these vape factories. Ch <laughs> Check this out. How many can you test in a day? 8,000? Wait, hold on. Is that a little kid? 
That's a little kid. Doing 8,000 vape tests a day. Okay, so there's the factories, you know. And uh, that's what's up. They're trying to get anybody. They're trying to get anybody's ass. They're trying to get everybody ass on that app with these sort of artificially low prices that will eventually become more. But anyway, guys, it's Wednesday. Ugh. I don't even want to deal with it. So I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. I like to walk out here and I'm gonna take about a week off. Guys! You're not getting the whole show, okay? Please, for Christ's sake, become a member on Patreon, okay? For as little as two bones. When you join on Patreon for as little as two stupid little bones, you get the Tuesday, Thursday shows every week. The comments program where you can ask questions or tell stories or do whatever and it, it's a whole show. Behind the scenes crap. All for a two future little bones, that's it. Just click this link, here it is, right there, see it? Yep, okay. I'm in hell. And if you really want to support the wretched show, people call it because they're satanic, they're sick, you could become a producer for only 25 bones. These beautiful people here are, they, they God. God. Without those producers, it's over, man. It's, it's done. Do you think we can do the show without the producers? Okay, because if you do think that, you got another thing coming, my man. You got a totally different thing coming. Without the producers, it is it is as good as over. Hello? Is anyone listening to me? Please answer. I'll wait. Please answer. Our hearts and our toilets are forever endowed unto the producers from which all light comes. Praise God. Praise God. It really is amazing to have such beautiful producers, and if you want to do it, oh my God. I, you know, I don't, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you know... I love the producers so much that I wrote a little song about them. Here we go. Hit it. Without the producers, we're going straight to hell. And we'll be there mashing our teeth for all eternity. And then we'll go down to the lower level of hell where you can't get out. Not even for good, good. Behavior slash deeds. Go, go down there. Deeds. Ah,